Every living thing on Earth sleeps, and through the course of human life, we spend anywhere from 20 to 25 years doing just that. But what do we know about sleep? We know what sleep looks like, but what really happens when we lie down and close our eyes? The definition of sleep is actually an interesting question. Sleep is one of those things that everybody recognizes, but when you actually try to say what it, what it is, is uh, it's not always easy. The human brain is one of the most fascinating and mysterious organs in our body, with over 100 billion neurons processing information from behavior to reasoning to emotion. The brain is also responsible for how we sleep. We really conceptualize sleep regulation as being governed by two processes. The homeostatic drive for sleep and the circadian rhythm. The homeostatic drive is regulated in the base forebrain, the more interior part of the brain, by a substance that tends to build up during wakefulness. The circadian process, or the circadian rhythm, is the internal clock mechanism. It acts like a 24-hour clock that regulates human behavior around the light-dark cycle. The homeostatic process kind of builds up the longer you've been awake, so it's kind of like a buildup of the drive to sleep, the need to sleep, and that of course gets uh, stronger as the day goes on, the longer you've been sleep deprived, and it's dissipated during sleep. The circadian system um, is what allows us to remain awake during the day and remain asleep during the night. Light is a critical element that keeps the internal circadian clock synchronized and properly aligned. Your circadian rhythms time your physiological processes. So if you are out of sync, it's like being in constant jet lag. The circadian process works hand in hand with the homeostatic process in order to properly regulate the balance of sleep and wake. Any disruption in either one of the processes can lead to a variety of sleep disorders. A recent report by the Institute of Medicine identified about 90 different sleep disorders with some of these characteristics. Excessive daytime sleepiness, difficulty initiating or maintaining sleep, and abnormal events occurring during sleep. The most common sleep disorders are insomnia, where there is difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, and sleep apnea, which triggers intermittent pauses in breathing as someone is sleeping. There are a host of reasons people have disrupted circadian and homeostatic sleep systems. Some are as a result of various lifestyle choices. The good news is there are things people can do that may directly impact their sleep issues. The first step is to foster good sleep habits, or sleep hygiene. For instance, going to bed and getting up at the same time each day can help create normal sleep patterns. And bedrooms need to be dark, slightly cool, and quiet. Also, keeping a sleep diary to record sleeping, waking instances may help in recognizing sleep patterns, and also may identify what triggers a bad night's sleep. Sometimes, for severe cases, medications and other treatments may be prescribed in addition to these behavioral modifications. Treatment of a sleep disorder often involves uh, careful medical assessment, uh, psychological and behavioral assessment, attention to um, sleep hygiene or sleep-related behaviors, healthy sleep practices, and then specific treatments for the sleep problem. The important thing to remember is sleep can be as vital to the human body as food and drink, and not receiving the right amount can create a host of problems. Getting a primary health care provider involved is often the first step to a better and more satisfying night's sleep. <laughs>